Hey YouTube, so uh, increasingly we're seeing for replacement is the um, Apple Retina um, laptops batteries replacement. Um, this is the battery, this is an official replacement, believe it or not, but you can't, you can't really buy the parts. Apple don't actually replace it as a part. It actually becomes, it comes as one as a, a palm rest, the mouse pad, uh, and that type of thing. Let me just turn the music off. Right, background music off. Right. Um, yeah, so um, you can pick up some batteries. My advice is always go for a good battery, first of all. Um, okay, so how do I replace the batteries on there? There's a number of methods. Um, best way um, to, to get to this adhesive, um, which you can just see on this new one here, um, is to warm it up. So what I've got here is a hot water bottle, uh, steaming hot water. Obviously uh, goes without saying be really careful. One, you've got hot water pouring into the hot, uh, hot water bottle. You don't want to get it on your hands, um, steaming hot. And two, you don't want water on the laptop because obviously it's going to be uh, devastating for the laptop. So I'm just going to move the heat over to this side. Um, so what I'm doing, I'm distributing heat and uh, this, this is very hot, the hot water bottle. There are other methods, there's like ones, heat pads that you can put into the microwave and then put them on top. Um, but this is fairly inexpensive and it works. Um, so obviously don't use direct heat. Don't use a heat gun or anything like that. These are batteries, you don't want them exploding. Uh, and then really you can just prise it open with your um, flimsy clam. What would you call them, Jen? Flimsy clam. Flimsy clam, yeah. Okay, so you can do that, um, but we're going to try a new method for me, a bit of dental floss. So, um, as with all these repairs, patience is a virtue, so always be patient. Uh, so I'm not going to bore you to tears showing you um, the whole replacement. What I'm going to do is just kind of like ease one away and show you if this method works really. So. Uh, let's give it a go. Okay, so this has had a bit of heat and I'm just gently letting, the, letting it do the work. This isn't really um, tough, the dental floss. So you kind of like want it to do the work and I can feel it slowly getting through. Kind of like wish I had something in my hands, feel like I'm gonna cut my fingers off in a minute. Um, so I read about this on the uh, Apple forums, this method, because every time else I've removed the speakers here and I've just prized them up. So I may have to go back to that method. Uh, maybe more heat. So again, patience is a virtue here. So we're gonna stick that on for more heat. Uh, move over to this side, do a bit over here. Definitely getting through it. I mean, even if it's weakening it, every this adhesive is so tight. But any any weakening of this adhesive is a kind of like a bonus, really. Um, you also need patience putting the floss in. Um, so especially in the middle here, I couldn't actually get the floss around here. So uh, I've done it in the corners, hoping that I can get something up. Um, anyway. Let's pause it there or stop it there and um, rest assured this battery, even if I have to pull that one out, will be going in. <laughs> so um, any comments, any advice, if you do it a different method, uh, please let us know and um, yeah, peace out. Please like and subscribe.